All right, hey chemistry students, we are going to look at um, solving a process where we figure out the energy, the total energy of a reaction. And we're going to look at the energy per, of the products minus the energy of the reactants. So remember the, the left side of the, pro, of the equation is the reactants, the right side are the products. Okay, so we're going to use the same process that we've been using to figure out energy in the last couple class periods, but we're going to combine it together to figure out What's the energy of each of the individual elements? Okay, so uh, one of the little note on this when we st before we start going on this, if you look at the note here, uh, so only atoms and alpha particles have binding energies. So anything that is a beta particle like this or a neutron uh, was not did not have binding energy. So don't include that as part of it. Okay, but any of the elements or atoms. And if we had an alpha particle there, we would include that, okay? So <clears throat> we're going to, again, repeat the same process that we did uh, in the last couple uh, class periods. And we're going to just do it for each side of the equation. So we're going to start with helium. And we're going to look at what is the, first we're going to find the mass defect of helium, okay? So if you remember the equation that we just had, if you look at the, other, the previous page, okay? <laughs> we have the the first thing we start with is the mass of the nucleus uh, of the atom, which is, in this case, 4.003 AMU. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to use that as our mass minus, or we have the little brackets, the number of protons that helium has. And if you look up helium on the periodic table, it has two protons times the mass of one proton, which is 1.007 AMU. Okay. We're going to add that to the number of neutrons for helium. And so if we have two protons, the mass number is four. We know we're going to have two neutrons, and we're going to multiply that by the mass of a neutron. <clears throat> so we're going to figure out the number there. We'll punch it into our calculator. And what we get is, the bell's going off, negative 0 0.027 AMU. So there's the mass defect in AMU. And then remember, we need to multiply that by our conversion to kilograms. <clears throat> and my total value here for mass defect in kilograms would be 4.027. 482 times 10 to the negative 29th kilograms. Okay? And we'll keep that as a negative answer there. So there is my answer. Okay? <clears throat> then, if you remember, when we kind of try to figure out the binding energy, we use Einstein's equation equals mc squared. We're going to take the mass from here. And this can be written over here. So my mass is negative 4.482 times 10 to the negative 29th kilograms. And I'm going to multiply that by the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8th, and my value is squared. Now when I do that, what I get is negative 4.0338 times... 10 to the negative 12th, 12th joules. So there's my binding energy for an atom of uh, helium in this case. Okay. Now, here's one little new thing. Is if you look at my equation here, I actually have four of those. So I have four atoms or four moles of this. All right. So we need to make sure we multiply this by 4. So we're going to multiply this value by 4 because I have actually 4 atoms on that side. Okay? And when I do that, I get an answer of negative 1.61 times 10 to the negative 11th joules. Okay? So there's my binding energy for the left side of the equation. All right. <clears throat> then I need to take into account 
what's going on with carbon. Now, we made a little bit of a mistake in that we didn't write down the actual mass of carbon, so I'm going to give you that. You can just get that from the periodic table. And the mass is 12.011 AMU. Okay, so we need to go through and do the same process with carbon. So we have the actual mass, 12.011, minus carbon, if you look on the periodic table, has six protons. We multiply that by the mass of one proton. And then I'm going to add that to, if it's carbon 12 and I have six protons, I have six neutrons. And again, the mass of that is 1.008. And again, those are those are constant values. Okay, so when I do that and calculate that, I get negative 0 0.079 AMU. And then I'm going to multiply that by my 1.66 times 10 to the negative 27th kilograms. And I get an answer there of negative 1.311. 10 to the negative 28th kilograms. And we're going to use that number over here. And we're going to take that number, negative 1.311 times 10 to the negative 28th. And then we're going to multiply that by the speed of light squared. Okay. And when we do that, we get negative 1.18 times 10 to the negative 11th kilos. So there's my binding energy for that. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we have our binding energy for helium. We have our binding energy for, um, for uh, carbon. So now, according to what we have up here, we're just going to take the difference of those two. Okay, so energy of the products, so the products are on this side. We got negative 1.18 times 10 to the negative 11th, right, because carbon's on the product side. Okay, and we're going to subtract that from, I'm going to do a little parentheses here, negative 1.61 times 10 to the negative 11th. This is joules, and this is joules. So, when we do that, oops, let me see that. Let me slide that up again. Sorry about that. Okay, so I have the mass from here. I'm sorry, the energy from here, and energy of the products, and the reactants. Okay, so the final answer there, uh, when we do that, is we do. Let me show you my calculator here. We're going to do negative. 1.18 to the negative 11th minus, I'm going to do in parentheses here, minus 1.61 negative 11th, and we get 4.3. negative, or 10 to the 12th, I'm sorry, 10 to the 12th, and that would be joules. Okay, 4.3 times 10 to the 12th joules. Okay, now that is per atom. We want to figure out the energy per mole, so remember the conversion there from, from atoms to moles is that 4.3 times 10 to the 12th joules per atom, we're going to multiply that value by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, because that's how many atoms are in a mole. And when we do that, yeah, this is negative by the way, uh, when we do that we get 2.59 times 10 to the 12th joules. There's our final answer. Okay. 
Whew. So that's a lot, right? So we did. Figured out the mass defect. Figured out the energy for helium. We had to multiply it by 4 because there was 4 of those. We figured out the mass defect of carbon. We figured out the energy for carbon. All right, and there's only one carbon atom. We subtract those two numbers and we get 4.3 times 10 to the negative 12th. And then I multiply that to get the final answer to get the number of joules per mole by the 6.02 times 10 to the 24th. Okay? So there's a couple more practices like that. Again, in the front side of the worksheet, okay, it gives you all the numbers. It'll give you the mass defect equation, the uh, masses for the different um, protons and neutrons. It gives you the equation for the energy as well. Okay? So hopefully that helps. We'll talk to you later. See ya.